Hello to you and welcome back to Storytime. It's your old bird here. Gonna keep you company today with some Fallout 3 and hopefully some upcoming combat. This turned out to be a bit complicated. Well, it wasn't too bad. It turned out uh, that that terminal over there wasn't working. So you can't open the door. Door said it required a key, but it didn't. It required that terminal to work. To get the terminal to work, I had to get a kid from out there to help me fix it. And now that it's fixed, I hacked it, and now I can open the door to Vault 87. So we're gonna go into Vault 87, and we're gonna see what lies in wait in Vault 87. We're looking for the Gek, which is basically like the, the Genesis device of the game. It, uh, it takes lifelessness and makes it green and wonderful again, and Everything is happy and do happy and hunky. I wanted to say happy Dory. I was trying to, I was trying to mix happy and hunky Dory. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me. Peter Stevens' personal journals. Why, sure, Mr. Stevens, what's up? Let's just go and let's see here. Corrupted journal entry. I don't know what to do. My Jason, my little boy, he's gone. My wife won't talk anymore. She just sits in this godforsaken sublevel and stares out of the window at the rock wall as if looking across a sunlit meadow or a lazy summertime lake. Jason was my life. He was my joy, my meaning. Now all this work seems pointless. This was a mistake. Better we had all died together outside than inside this uh, permanent tomb. I'm scared. Data corrupted. Corrupted. Uh, dear <laughs> journal entry. Nothing is meaning to me anymore. Every time I'm in the outer tunnels, I swear I can hear children's laughter. Well, you could! That was a little lamplight. The vault doctors say it's just my mind compensating for the loss of Jason, but I know I'm not crazy. They gave me new pills, but pills are for crazy people. I refuse to take these pills. I am not crazy! Why bring up kids in a hellhole like this? Why? This is a pointless existence. Uh, that was the one I just- yeah. Okay, now this one. No. And finally, oh well. And weren't you the one that was saying that you weren't crazy? Yeah, you thought you weren't crazy. It turns out you're pretty fucking nuts. Pretty nuck and futs there, I think. You know, what is it about going crazy that causes people to forget how to use a space bar? No, no other key, just the space bar, right? <laughs> what? People, that's the first sign that you know you're going crazy is if if you can't use the space bar anymore on your computer, then you know you've gone crazy. I, I don't know. Well, goodbye, sir and uh, Mr. Um, Stevens. Uh, Godspeed to whatever de destination you wound up uh, in, going to. Where do I go? Uh, I guess that, oh, is this just, there's nothing else in here? Oh, I can open this. Ugh. Kind of don't like that. Hang on. Oh, well, it's the only way to go. Well, guess it doesn't matter if I don't like it. You know what? Sometimes in life, you just have to do things that you really don't want to do. It's just the way it is. Okay. What's up here? Do I want to know? Hello? Ew. Junk and body parts and things and... Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, anything interesting? Hello? There's an interesting piece of meat. Oh, there's roaches. I, I don't... You know, I, I don't like... Don't like that I have to kill you, roaches, because... You know, you seem okay, but, uh... I don't have a bat, do I? I don't have anything. Do I have the stick? I don't have the stick. I put up the stick. Why did I do that? Well, that means I'm just gonna have to... I'm gonna have to kill him. Or something. Um, and the, uh, all these, all these weapons are a little bit overpowered for this, but, oh well. Someone there. Yeah. Let me just shoot you in the face. Oh, God. Are you gonna die? Oh god, and now the roaches are attacking me too. 
You know, I, we, they, he doesn't need your help. Ugh. I really shouldn't be using this gun. Because the Lincoln's repeater uses the same ammo that that one uses. What I ought to be using is probably this. Yeah. Because I got tons. Oh, wow. I got, yeah, tons and tons of these bullets. I'll never run out of these. And I shouldn't have said that. I, I shouldn't have said what I just said. Uh, let me uh, get a little bit of healing going on here. Yeah, I know. You're feeling sick, aren't you? Well, we'll help you out here. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Plenty of impacts. Yep. Okay. So. Uh, right. So there's in, there's this out here. Oh. Oh, wow. That actually worked really well. Oh. Um, I don't know why this just plain crappy old Chinese assault rifle is working so well, but it is. I'm not gonna, hey, I'm not gonna question it. I like it. Um, anything in here? No. Okay, so, uh, we were down there. We were way down there. Living quarters. Okay, what do I need to do in here? Uh, there's this. That, okay, nothing in there. There's another one over here. Oh, God, I was so excited. Okay. A living quarter. Hey, you're fast. Whoa, you're fast. Oh, good, you're dead. Well, you were fast. Now you're dead. You had a super sledge. Man, I was hoping to get enough super sledges to actually put together one perfect condition super sledge, but never got the chance. I didn't find enough of them. Open door. Hello. What do we got? Anything important? Anything fun? No? Okay, we're gonna keep looking. What about- Oh! Are you dead yet? No, you need to die in the face. Okay. Oh, hi, 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 oh, oh. Just suddenly up in my face like that. Okay, you're- yeah, you're dead. Okay, uh... I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna use it to repair this one so that... It keeps being kick-ass as possible. There we go. Alright. Now, next door. Where are we looking- this, this... Vault hunting is always... Always tense and interesting because you never know what you're gonna run into in here. Eh... Uh, Eh. Oh. 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 Okay. Never know what you're gonna find. Uh, had a, had a few goodies in here, but ooh, what's that? But not a whole lot of anything else, which is uh honestly a little bit weird. Uh, but we're gonna keep moving. Keep on trucking. And, uh... Oh, a lot of lockers. Anything? No? Okay. Not really. Uh, here's a place. Used to be... Maybe a doctor's lab. Doctor's office or something. I oh, almost grabbed the packs of cigarettes. I don't know why. I'm not selling stuff anymore. I don't need to. All I need right now is ammo and health. Oh. What do we got here? Nothing. My favorite. And then back upstairs. Okay, hang on just a second. Did we did we look in all of the rooms down here? Let me just make sure. I don't think we looked in there. Wait, no, we did look at that's where we came from. And this was the first room I went into. So yeah. We can go upstairs. I heard somebody load a gun. And it was you. That's unfortunate. Because now you're dead. 
I'll take it. Anybody else? Who's in here? Anybody? Any super mutants taking a large dump? Taking a dukester in here? Nope, nobody. What about this? Ugh. Eh, nothing I need. What about over here? Oh, this is locked. Well. Ah, nailed it. Okay, what? What do we have here? So. Huh. I'm wondering something here. Since the outside of this vault is so radiated, it seems a little weird. Oh, boy, that the inside isn't. Doesn't it? Uh, hang on. Let me make sure I'm up for this battle. Okay. Ah, uh, we're feeling better now. Oh, you know what? I'm coming right at your face. Why? why whoa, hold up. Yeah, now you lost your gun. I'm going to shoot you in the... Yeah, are you dead? Are you dead? You died. Oh! Oh, God, there's too many... Ev oh, they're everywhere. Shit. Get me out of here. You know, the last thing I need is you swinging around a goddamn hammer in my face. Last thing I need. You don't, don't I'm, I'm gonna dig out the missiles, buddy. How about in here? No. Die! Well, you died in, in wonderful fashion there. So why was this the door that was locked? Why was this door locked hard when I could just go through here? Why? It, was that a thing? I don't even know. Oh, I've got another one. Average. Oh, come on. I, I, I just did a very hard, and I'm going to break this thing on an average. Oh, anything helpful for me now? Uh, maybe in there. This and that. Uh, ooh, uh, safe. Right away, possibly. Big old Nuka Cola. Open a locker. Don't know why did I do that. Habit, I guess. I've been playing this game for so long now. Um, I just have it. Oh, bottle caps. I'll take them. Oh, come on, where's. Is it right in the middle? It's right in the middle, isn't it? It's just right in the middle. Yep. Ah. Well, nothing in there I really need. Uh, oh, take that. Don't need a laser rifle. Uh, okay, let's uh, go with uh, there. And where is it? There it is. Unarmed increased by one. Not that I really use that. Let's, uh, hang on. Repair the rifle. All right. Adventure awaits. Where do we go? Well, I guess we're going upstairs. I have a feeling we're going to have to turn back around and come just down through back through all this. Oh. How, what are they doing in there? How do you... How can I become in there? What? I hear something. Yeah, you do. You hear me. I don't know how you got back there. Oh god, I just sat there and shot that table leg forever. Let me get out of here. I'm feeling pretty nasty. Oh, thank goodness. Only 128 stim packs left. You think I'll make it? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Anything in here? Bottle caps. Wow. What? What's that music? Oh! Game's over! Oh, is it? Yeah! Not quite yet, because I'm still shooting you in the face! Yeah! Come on! Come on, pretty! Come on, pretty boy! That's right! Let me just blow y'all to kingdom come! Oh, that's how you got here. Okay. Well, what, first of all, was that there's a computer in here. What is, what is the computer? I'll pick that. Computer probably unlocks the safe. Am I correct? I probably am. 
Okay, it's over here. Oh, come on. Is it? Ah! Uh, <laughs> there we go. Purified water is good in a pinch. Actually, all this stuff's good. Just give me all of it. Yay. All right. Anything in here? Nope. So what were they? Wait. Yeah, here they were. What are they goofing around in here about? Oh, this is, uh... Up. Ew. And more up. Test labs. Ooh. I'm in the testing labs. They're going to test me. And your head goes by. That's what happens to your face. Uh-huh. Uh, oh. Uh, I, you know what? I'm not really interested. Oh. I may be interested in this, though. You never know what's in this. Uh. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah! I'll take those. Oh, God, I'm, I'm doing it again. Okay. Locker. No, thanks. Oh, no. I hate you assholes. I don't know why. Those things are just... They're not really that dangerous, but they're really weird. What are you? You are one creepy looking bitch, ain't ya? Holy crap. Failed FEV subject. Ooh. Okay. Uh, it seems like I... Maybe going somewhere. Huh. I'm, I'm... This is going somewhere. What's this? It's the same thing. Offline. Tanks depleted. What's in here? Just nothing except radiation. Okay. Ugh. I, I'm in a weird part of game here. Does this do anything? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh oh! Yeah, yeah, yeehaw! Okay, are you dead? Ew. What are. Oh! Uh, those things look really weird. I'm gonna. Is, is one of these different at all? No? Okay, none of them's different. They're all the same so far. Oh, what do we have? Okay, take both those. And what is this? Chief Physician's Terminal. This could be interesting. All right. Uh, 34. Yeah, okay. The latest subjects in the evolutionary exper uh, experimentation program are showing some promise after only a single exposure to the modified FEV. We are currently testing five subjects, two males and three females. Each one of them is under 24-hour observation as usual. We hope to have a breakthrough in this strain uh, as the continual pressure from vault Tech and the military at uh, Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, next one. Incredible results. After only three days, subject B440, B164, and D624, all female spec specimens, are all exhibiting a unique change. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes, uh, losing most of their visible female indicators and transforming into almost a sexual state. They're also seeming, seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formation in line with males. Similarly, subjects C376 and A541, our male specimens, are losing most of their visible male indicators and taking on the same asexual state as the females. It seems that the FEE wishes to, quote, level the playing field and start with a clean slate as it works. Why do I keep doing that? That's, that's the question of the day. Why do I keep doing that? We had a minor setback. Subject B440, Mary Kilpatrick, is now deceased. According to my autopsy, she died of a massive loss of brain function. Can you... That's not possible. I know that's not possible. It's not possible to die of a massive load of brain function. 
Because there are people walking around right now that are so stupid that they wouldn't be able to live, right? They don't have any brain function, yet they're still alive. So, uh, what the hell? Was uh, unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. This is the usual pattern we see in all the FEV strains. We test the brains of the subjects becoming too damaged to support even the most basic human needs, eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all the other subjects are nominal and continue to exhibit uh, physical changes. Uh, at 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin in all our remaining test subjects is actually thickening and becoming more resilient. Seems to be the FEV bringing about some new adaptive change. This is the kind of result we were looking for. Adaptions that could prove useful in combat situations. I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo on his skin engineering. His coded instructions in this strain seem to be exactly what uh, he expected. Uh, once again, I've hit that damn wall. At 14 days, all the test subjects began to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety, so much that they were a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no choice once again but to order them to be destroyed. Pains me every time we have to do this. The same cycle has been repeated in every strain we test. We always see superior physical adaptions, but the mental changes are their downfall. Well, sounds to me like they were doing a lot of experiments on super mutants in here. They were kind of making, they were, they were sort of turning them into super mutants and meow. I can't remember which way I came from. I think it was over here. I left doors open, right? Yeah, and I killed you. So, oh, okay. Here we go. In here. And, uh, no we don't. We're not going in there. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello? It can't be. Either you are quite real, or I am going quite mad. Could you actually be a pure human? Well, I guess. Um, friendly super mutant. Now I've seen everything. Kind of weirding me out. <laughs> I am indeed. I have no time to discuss the matter. No! Oh, must you use that vulgar term? Yes. I was born in the FEV chambers. But a super mutant, I certainly am not. I prefer the term metahuman. <laughs> Suits me better, don't you think? Perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. The name's Fox. How ironic that the others consider you a mutant of their kind. Huh. Yes. Indeed, it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment, but I hadn't expected to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up for the deck. Well, you're smarter than you think, than, than it seems like at first. Uh... Yeah, what do you know about the gag? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Well... Um... Why would you help me? Because... You... Can help me! Let me out of this place! I can't take it anymore! I can't even recall how long I've been here! Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the gek for you! Okay. Um... Why would I have... Well, yeah, why would I have difficulty getting the gek in the first place? The chamber in which the gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation! It's unlikely you'd survive very long! Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the gek safely in your hands. All right, how can I get you out then? At the end of the hallway, 
to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Yeah, you got a deal. I'll do it. Glad to see you are a sensible person. Well, I try. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Uh. Okay. What do I do once I trip the fire console? Yeah. I'll, I'll stay here until you've cleared a path to me. So just be careful. Some of these uh, failed experiments are quite nasty. Okay, well, you know what? I gotta go. My hope that we will speak again soon. Well, it's my hope we will, too. Uh, can't believe you stayed in there for longer than you can remember. There's no food in there. Can I just... Wait, can I just open this? I mean, can't this just be... Identify specimen. Unlock the door. Oh, uh, error lock. And then I can terminate him. I wonder if I could do that for all of them, because if this is going to unlock all of the doors and all kinds of crazy shit's going to come out of me, it'd be nice if I could actually kill them before they got out. That would be a really nice thing for me to do, is killing people, because killing is always a nice thing to do. Uh, especially when it's mutilated people, you know, just murder. That's what, that's what good is murder. What's in here? Nobody? Really? Oh, the door. Ah, screw that. Uh. Um, what about in here? Oh, there's a... There's a thing. Uh, pardon me, thing. Yeah. You appear to be stuck a lot. Uh, let tell you what. I'll just, um... I'll, I'll just, I'll just help you out, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna help you out. Uh, terminate. Danger, do not interrupt. Whoa! That was... Oh, you're terminated, all right! Is there another one in here? There's another one in there. All stuck in the... Okay. Let's do this again! Yeah, let's just go in here and... Bye! You're done. Anything in here? There's a dude. What's a dude doing in here? Is is why are you there? Something there. No. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Yep, yeah, bye. Okay, uh Oh god, is there another one? Aha! Uh -huh. This must be the, uh... The maintenance room. Hang on a second, I'm curious why there's a dude in here. What are you, guy? Are you like, um... Are you a good guy? You just locked up in here? Uh... Identify specimen. Unlock door. Okay. Hey, buddy! Are you just... Are you just gonna hit me with a pipe? Is that what you're- God! What are you- You're weird! Okay. Sorry, idiot, but, um... You're gonna do that. Then, I uh, uh, search Sid. Take these. Man. Uh, God, it's a- I wish that guy had a story. Why was there just a guy in here? That, that kind of thing fascinates me, and now I'll never know. Because he, he was an idiot, and he tried to shoot me. Let's just, there we go. Uh-huh. Okay, now... Uh, medical wing maintenance terminal. I guess this is the one. Um... Oh, it's a five, emergency release. Oh! Uh... Is that all I had to do? 
That idiot said that I had to trick the uh, fire alarm. I'd have to do that. That was the room he was in, right? This one? Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, you Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind. And it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Alright, I guess. I'm gonna follow you, but whoop. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Before I follow you, uh, I think that is pretty much all the time that I have for story time today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy our time together. And I want you to know, I want you to remember that though this game is coming to an end and though story time is coming to an end, it doesn't mean that us spending time together is going to come to an end because we're still going to have Radio Free Potato and I'm still going to be here every single day making uh, gaming videos and hanging out with you. So nothing nothing is being lost. There's, there's no really saying, it's not really a goodbye. It's just sort of a, you know, meet you in the other room, you know, kind of things. So uh, just wanted to reassure you there and let you know that, that nothing is going to change. It's all going to be good. But... We're going to continue this, pick it up in the next story time, and until then, take care. <laughs>